Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Fiddle Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to... Welcome... I always say welcome back to... Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I'm going to be talking about two massive, really interesting subjects slash topics. The first being Tammy Abraham has rejected a new contract with Chelsea Football Club. Yes, Chelsea have nailed down tied down, secured the futures of all their young prospects except Tammy Abraham, who's rejected one or two contract offers now from Chelsea Football Club, and wants more De Niro. He wants them peas. I'm going to be talking about that, how much he probably, or we can speculate how much he wants. Is he worth it? Yeah. Also, apparently Chelsea Football Club want Dean Henderson, the Manchester United goalkeeper currently playing at Sheffield United on loan, who is actually the form goalkeeper in the Premier League. That's right, to the highest level of football. He's got some immense numbers. Chelsea want to sign him. You know, whatever you think of Kepa, this is an amazing link, and I'm going to tell you why. But before we do get into all that good gear, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not already done so. Please do sub, hit the bell notifications icon, that is important. If you want to help a brother out, please do like the video and uh, follow me on the socials like Instagram. Alright, let's get into it. Right, Chelsea, Frank Lampard, the youth revolution. Sure, they want to bring in experience and quality, but it was important that they tie down a lot of their talented youngsters, which they have done so. So far, Chelsea have secured the long-term futures of uh, Rhys James, Mason Mount, Fakayo Tomori, Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Billy Gilmore. A lot. Of course, this article is missing Callum Hudson Adoy as well, which is a huge one. All these kids are locked down the Chelsea Football Club. Superb work from the Blues, but Tammy Abraham will not sign. Now, why is that? Well, they've probably offered him, I don't know, near and around 100k? The thing is, Tammy Abraham's put the graft in. He's gone away on loan three times, two of which were incredibly successful, scoring a lot of goals. He's Chelsea's top goal scorer this season, wearing the number nine shirt. He's recently won two awards at the London Football Awards. Check this picture out of him holding Premier League Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year. You can see why he values himself highly now. Tammy Abraham's out of form lately, he hasn't scored for a while, but the fact remains he probably will get over 16 goals in the Premier League this season. Goals come at a premium, and remember he didn't cost Chelsea anything. He's still got a couple of years left to run on his contract, Tammy, maybe Chelsea offering him like 80-90k a week, who knows, maybe even 100k a week, bearing in mind the likes of Mason Mount, who's highly rated by Frank Lampard and Chelsea, is on 70k. Maybe he sees what Chelsea did with Callum hudson Doy with £120,000 a week, and he says, yes, I want at least that. I'm scoring the goals, give me the money. Now, Twitter presence and Chelsea writer Joe Tweedy, a friend of mine, wrote an interesting thread on Tammy Abraham. I won't link the whole thread, I suggest you go and see it, but he pretty much highlights how there would be so much more value in signing Tammy Abraham to his demands rather than going out and buying a elite, inverted commas, centre forward. Without the transfer fee, Tammy Abraham's perhaps wanted 120k plus you know, wages aren't that much at all. If you think of like Marcus Rashford, granted he's been around for longer, but I think he's on two to 300K, 200K rising to 300K. And he's probably like, man, I'm scoring more goals than him in open play. I'm worth it, man. The truth is Tammy Abraham's still young and I'm sure if he's performed well at the highest level for Chelsea for another season, he would immediately get a pay rise. It might be a precautionary thing, but the fact remains if he is gonna stay and score the goals, you probably should have a Chelsea number 9 wage. I'm kind of stuck in the middle on the fence here because I do rate him highly but I'm not still completely sold that he should be the number 1. He probably demands money for the number 1 but Chelsea are probably still thinking of bringing someone in to challenge or start in this starting 11, certainly challenge him or put Tammy in a position where he's challenging the new boy. You get what I'm saying? But financially, regardless, buying a new elite centre forward would cost far, far more than just giving in to Tammy's wage demands. So they need to take that into an account as well. And if they're gonna spend 50, 60, 70, 80 million pounds on a striker from abroad, is he gonna come in and score loads of goals? You know, perhaps he scores the same amount of Tammy, which would be a good first season, or maybe even less. Look at Alvaro Morata. Exhibit A. <laughs> so, you know, people might be upset with Tammy because he's asking for a lot of money. Really, this is just the business part of it. It's your job, innit? If you think you're worth something, you ask for the money, no matter how much you love a club, if you know they've got money and you think you can really deliver at the highest level for them, you want to be compensated appropriately. Do you know what I mean? Especially if he's like, look, just pay me the same as Callum Hudson-Odoi 
Um, sure, he's a very talented youngster, but I'm going to be up there. I'm going to score all these goals. I'm winning awards. Give me the moolah. Anyway, we'll see what happens with that. Obviously, come check by Football Therapy every single day, and I will keep you guys updated with all these stories. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say something at the end there, but I just gave up. Right, moving on to the next story. Uh, goalkeeper Dean Henderson. Now, before I go into this, I want to offer this sort of disclaimer and preface this whole sh section of the video with, I'm not saying Kepper out, okay? Kepper, an excellent game against Liverpool. His next few games might be superb. But while Chelsea are being linked to new goalkeepers, and if we're going to work on the assumption that Frank Lampard does want a new goalkeeper because just long term he doesn't trust Kepper, let's talk about new goalkeepers. We've talked about how Donnarumma's been linked, how Chelsea have liked the idea of Onana, and Onana likes the idea of moving to London. But what genuinely trumps all of those links is a Premier League proven goalkeeper who's actually probably the best performing goalkeeper in the Premier League at the moment. And that is Manchester United's Dean Henderson, currently playing on loan at Sheffield United. Dino, Dino, Dino is having a wonderful season, much better than David De Gea, but David De Gea is on a new large contract and is Manchester United's number one. Hendo, I can't, I can't call him Hendo, it's just going to sound like Liverpool phraseology. Dino, he's um, probably fancies himself to be a starting goalkeeper at a big, big club now. And I don't know how tight his allegiances are with Manchester United, but if he doesn't see himself getting in and above David De Gea, which is kind of fair enough, personally a lot of United fans probably would put him in over David De Gea, then maybe he'll look around. And Chelsea have apparently been linked, well certainly this last sort of few hours, 12 hours, have a... Uh, have been linked by media publications that Chelsea are in for him. Also, Chelsea are in for Nick Pope of Burnley, but that would be a harder deal to pull off, apparently, because he's number one at a club, whereas Dean is just on loan at Sheffield United, and he's not number one at his parent club, and he's ranked or rated £25 million. Even if Chelsea had to pay more for him than that, that would be an amazing deal, and I'm going to tell you why. Let's take a look at a player comparison and some stats between Dean Henderson this season and Edison, who who's the goalkeeper for the champions of England, Manchester City. Right on the screen you can see some stats that I've posted up with Dean Henderson's column on the left and Edison's column on the right. As you can see, Dino's got more clean sheets, he's made more saves, obviously they have to make more saves with when he faces more shots, he makes much more saves per match, save success is significantly higher which is incredible, a save success of 76.09% is actually is immaculate this day and age in the Premier League considering how good the forwards are, just incredible. Save the penalty which Edison has not, he does more punches, he does far more high claims, he's a less of a sweeper keeper but that's probably the way to do with how the respective teams play and he's less inclined to throw the ball out. Pretty much wipes the floor with Edison there in terms of goalkeeping statistics. Wouldn't cost much, he's a superb player profile in terms of purchasing, really really young, really really ambitious, rates himself incredibly highly and is just performing at the highest highest level in the Premier League and making all the other goalkeepers look not very good. So that would be an absolute dream signing for Frank Lampard who apparently is a keen admirer of the young England goalkeeper. By the way, he should be England's number one right now. Certainly not Jordan Pickford and maybe not even Nick Pope. So let's bring that disclaimer back around. I do think Kepa Rita Balaga is a very talented goalkeeper. He's incredibly athletic, superb reflexes and is a good footballing goalkeeper. Sure, perhaps sometimes he goes through stinky patches of forms. He's not very tall so he can't reach the corner of his goal. But I don't know, man. I like the fact that Kepp is a fighter, you know I, I was at that game when he refused to come off for Sari, and of course that was like abhorrent behaviour from a player, I've never seen anything like it. There's a little peculiar sadistic part of me that actually enjoyed it and thought god this guy really backs himself, um, obviously never condone that behaviour from a player, obviously, but I don't know there's something about Kepp, this like arrogance that I like, this self belief, the I can just see him like roaring after making this uh, winning penalty save in the Champions League final. Pet, pet a check kind of vibes. I don't know, I just see something in him, but if he's going to be like ominous form, in and out, you know, dramatic, causing animosity, drama, I'm not, I don't know if he does that behind the scenes, I'm just speculating. Bringing in someone like Dean Henderson, who's proven to perform at an incredibly high level in the Premier League for little money is just incredible business. Anyway, it's all pretty interesting, right? Who knows what's going to happen? But hey, I want to get your thoughts and opinions on the two stories that I've been speaking about today. What do you think about Tammy Abraham? Obviously, it does look like Tammy, Tammy, Chelsea would save a lot more money by keeping him and just paying his wages rather than buying another uh, striker in his place. 
What do you think? Do you think he's worth paying the same money as Callum Hudson to do? Do you think no? Just like let him see out his contract and see if he changes his mind, or if he does score more goals, then offer him the money. Do you know what I mean? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section on that. Also, express your thoughts and opinions on Dean Henderson and why not Kepa Ariza Balaga. I'll be interested in hearing what everyone has to say there. Of course, if you have enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you liking the video. That means a lot. Subscribing to the channel if you are indeed new and why not follow me on the socials at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it for me, guys. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.